Okay, it's Case Man with Sam125 here. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on how to make scale trees for a layout. Um, here's another one. Um, they're basically bottle brushes. Um, what you'll need is aluminum wire. I got this from Ace Hardware. Costs like, I don't know, like three bucks. I have this kind. Don't buy this stuff. I'm not gonna try it. I don't think I will. But this is like three, four bucks, something like that. I'm gonna return this so you can save money. Um, this was four forty-nine. That other one was three twenty-nine. So I'm gonna get probably return it because I don't need it. This stuff is way better. So aluminum wire. Need your scissors. You're gonna either want like. Sorry about that one. I almost fell. It's never done that. Okay. Now you're going to either want like a Leatherman or like a pliers like this. Find these. Work. This works really good. Better than this almost. You're going to want. This was before. Before I found out that you could do this. It's like a brace like this. And a brace up there. You put a nail and make it like a hook. Like that. Or you could make one like this. I'm going to have to cut this one down. Because this, this is like way too long. Okay, it's like two feet long. Okay, but whatever, you put like a nail right there and curve it up like that. Just for this, I'm gonna use this one. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Okay, right there. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna cut some of your wire. You're gonna wanna make it long enough, so mine is gonna be about that tall. Depends how tall you want your tree. If you want it six inches tall, you're gonna wanna get like foot of this. And you're going to want probably like 13, 14 inches because when it twists up. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to cut that, put it in your drill, like, so it's in there. Put it in a little ways. So you're going to want to go with this. I tend to do this and then I back it up. So then I have some twists in there. Then you're going to want baler twine, like green or yellow stuff, whatever. I got a bit in there. I'll have to kick a baler, so... I had a video of that, I got that off there. Then you're just going to want to start doing this. This is one of the most tedious parts of the entire thing. So you just want to fray it out. If you can see that. Like, fray it out like that. And keep going and going and going. Until you... Like this. Here's one. This is only for pine trees. I find, I was looking on YouTube, um, that people use like maple roots because apparently those are the most complex root systems or something like that just for like the deciduous, for like the, like, the, like not a pine tree one. I think that is a deciduous tree. But yeah, so I found this. The first, there's quite a bit of these kind of tutorials out there. But. Well, like five or six of them, handful, just a little bit. But what this guy, if you look under my favorites, if you can do that, I don't know if you can do that, but go under my favorites and it's guys holding up a tree just like this, kind of. He's showing it just like this, and one of them's yellow and one of them's green. It's not that hard to miss if you miss it. Well, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're going to want to keep twisting up the top. But yeah, that guy that I just like, described to you. He was the first guy I saw, so he gets any of the credit. Okay, there you go. There's your tree so far. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want like a like a base to work on because it gets really dirty. So you put your little loop on on your hook, and then you just start twisting very slowly because. Yeah, I'll let you watch it. There. See my drill pulled out. I was kind of pulling down as I went. So right there's your tree. It's not done yet, but see, it, it looks like a tree. I, this camera doesn't get it very good since it's an iPhone. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna trim it if you don't like the shape of it. Trim it into like a pine tree.
then what you do is you take your snippers and snip off the little loop on top. The loop looks like that. The loop looks like this. There's a loop that went around your nail. And there. And then if, if sometimes it does it, like if it doesn't work right, like it'll clip it off really low. Then I had to like hot glue this nail onto the spike onto the bottom. Excuse me. But then it, then this is nice because you got like your own little leg. There, I'll show you my display. One sec. I'll take these couple. I was working on like a hayfield looking thing. I don't know if I'll use that. But I, this is my second try for this video. Last night I made one. It was like eight minutes long. And it won't let me upload it. I tried like three times and it won't let me upload it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this out. Put this one in there because it's more height. I like that. That's really cool looking, I think. And then put over something like that. With that ever stays. And then this one, I'm pretty sure this one went over here. I got one more over there, so whatever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some spray paint. Next time I go to Ace or whatever. Some green spray paint. And you're going to spray it. Because right now, I'm not going to go for the clump foliage or whatever it's called. Woodland Phoenix, I think, makes it whatever. I'm not going to go all crazy like that. So, check out New Home Boss 66, Mr. Farming Kids channel. Subscribe to them. So, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other questions, comments about how to make some stuff, do it. Like this video comment on it comment if it helps if you made it comment say how it worked if it worked good or there's something that should be different on it or whatever so thanks for watching rate comment subscribe